Hantus was born in Warawa, Komoko, around the year 1595. Her true name was Matoka, but only her tribe called her by that name. Pocahontas was one of many daughters of a powerful chief named Pohatam. Her father ruled more than 25 tribes. English colonists settled in the area near Pocahontas in 1607. One day when Pocahontas was 12 years old, her brother came home from the forest with a very exciting story. What's the matter, brother? Is there any news from the seashore? Sun speed. I saw three big canoes with the white wings. The men in the canoes were very strange. Their skin was white. White? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. Pocahontas, do you really believe in this nonsense? I swear it's unbelievable. I thought human beings have rich brown skin. They speak strange words and sound. Unlike any other creature I've seen before. That's interesting. I want to see them. Stop it, you idiot. Don't believe him. He's just trying to draw some attention. Those aren't people, they must be demons. I know many stories about these white men. They want to take our land from us. We must fight them. Yeah, but father, they have sticks that talk. Those sticks make a lot of noise, and they sound really scary and dangerous. Those sticks are called guns, my son. Guns are better than bows and arrows. What? They have better weapons? Oh. What do they use? They are for hunting and they are good for fighting. We must find a way to take them from the white men. How? They can beat us with those guns. Listen, my son, weapons can beat the flesh, but they can never beat our spirit. Our spirit is rooted in this land. They can take this land away from us as long as you have the spirits. This is our land, our home, our spirit. Just keep your feet strong. What's the plan? You, my nephew, will go and watch them every day. We must know what they are doing. Pocahontas sat and listened all night to what her tribe was planning to do. She thought differently. She has always been precautious. She would always listen carefully and then she makes sure her voice is heard. Father, why to fight them? Killing is not in our faith. We live in harmony with all our surroundings, birds, seas, trees, and animals. But why not with the white people? Maybe we can be friends with them. If they're different from us, we can learn new things from them. There must be a way we can all live together. Oh, Big Mouth, can't you save your lectures to yourself? This matter is none of your business. Leave her alone. She's free to think whatever she wants. So every day, Pocahontas big brother watched the white men and came home with news about them. Here we go! We're almost done! I can't handle it anymore. We're so hungry and dizzy. Come on, lad! Jamestown is at stake. It's now or never. I know it's been hard for everyone here, but it's way too rough for us. Joan, Mark, Tom, and all of you guys, you must understand that we must finish building the fort quickly before the natives come and fight us. Yes, you were right. We came here for God, gold, and glory. We mustn't give up. God bless us. God bless the new world. Have enough food. Good. I wish all these white demons die from hunger. Pocahontas listened very carefully to her brother's stories. She felt sorry for the white men. Oh, how pity this white man. Father, we can't help this man. What did you say? Don't just help them. Yes, Father, we can't send them some of our car and send them our shaman to be for themselves. Let the white men be hungry. They will go away and leave us alone on our land. We don't want them here. One day, Pocahontas' uncle and his warriors killed many white men and took Colonel John Smith as a prisoner.
Pocahontas looked at the prisoner, she was amazed by his appearance. Oh dear, white skin, red hair, blue eyes. Dorka, where is your armpit? They are killing us. Why did you bring him here? I don't want to see any of these white men on my land. John Smith stood straight and he was not afraid when he saw Pocahontas. He smiled at her. Father, we can use him as a hostage. This man must die. Kill him. On your knees. Two of Pohatan's men threw the prisoner down. They were ready to kill him. Kill him. Stop! Father, please don't let them kill him. This man is very brave. Pocahontas threw herself down and covered his head to protect him. Pohatan looked at his daughter. First he was angry, but then he smiled. Pocahontas is right. This man is brave. He has a pure spirit. Let him live and tie his hands. Pohatan and some Indians made a peace agreement with Captain John Smith. Okay, deal. You are free now, Captain. But don't forget to send the gun. God willing. Thank you, little lady. You are courageous and you deserve to live. And so, Pocahontas saved the life of Captain John Smith. After Smith promised to send guns, he returned to Jamestown. He did not send the guns, but sent many other prisons instead. Over the next year, Pocahontas and other Indians visited the port and brought food for the settlers. There was peace between the Indians and the white men. However, in 1609, Smith had to go back to England because he was badly burned in a gunpowder accident. Again, there was fighting between the Indians and the white men. Again, there was not enough food. A few years later, a group of white men caught Pocahontas and brought her to their village. They treated her kindly. She's coming. Oh no, help! Who are you and what do you want from me? Come please down. let me go, please. Calm down, don't be afraid. But who are you and what do you want from me? We need you to stay here with us so your father and his warriors don't come and fight us. Oh my. I should have listened to my brother. Please let me go. I promise I won't come around again. Please. Don't worry. We're, we're going to take you to a safe place at the minister's house. His wife is a righteous woman. She'll take care of you until the situation gets calm. This way. While living in Jamestown, Pocahontas converted to Christianity and changed her name to Epica. A couple of years later, Pocahontas and John Rolfe who was a well-known colonist, fell in love. Yes, son. Father, will you accept their invitation? Pocahontas is my daughter, my blood. I will not attend the wedding, but you are my son. Uh, go and celebrate with her here. Take this and give it for to Pocahontas. Tell her not to forget her bond with this precious land. The marriage helped ending the war between Pohatan and the settlers. She was symbol of peace and union between the two races. In 1615, Rolf and Pocahontas had their first and only child, Thomas, the following years. My dear, we will travel to the old world, my homeland England. The English people are very eager to see you. They have heard about your good deeds to the settlers. But for coming back to Virginia, aren't we? Of course, this is our home. The English people were excited to know Pocahontas. There were many parties for her. Famous artists even painted portraits of her. Pocahontas was treated royally by the king and queen. While in England, Pocahontas visited Captain John Smith, whom she had not seen in many years. Hello, dear. Hello, dear friend. Very nice place. Believe me, there's nothing more beautiful than Jamestown. 
Oh, I missed my friends there. Everyone misses you too. They were worried about you after the gunpowder accident. Without you, there was no peace in the new world. So how do you find the old world down here? Something wrong here. I don't know. I don't feel well. Pocahontas? Dear, Pocahontas? Pocahontas became seriously ill just before she was getting ready to return to Virginia. She died in England in March 1617 at the age of 21. Pocahontas was buried in England. Her son Thomas grew up in England. He returned to America at the age of 20 and became an important member of the community. People will always remember my mother Pocahontas for helping to keep peace between the colonists and the Indians. I will make my best to follow my mother's efforts to keep peaceful relations between my people. I say to you, my beloved people, white people and the natives, we can and must learn to live together. We're all Americans. God bless America. God, God bless America. Pocahontas remains an important part of American history to this day.